Good evening, sisters and brothers. Yesterday, we have been reflecting about how good creation is. All that God has created, all that exists, is good. And God saw how good the things He created are. From the rivers and the oceans, He made it so beautiful that He placed creatures there. And the sky, He made it so beautiful that He placed the birds, different kinds. And then He realized that the earth is not so beautiful. And He made it so beautiful by creating the human person. And in the first reading of the day, we heard the second account of creation looking at the human person as the masterpiece, the centerfold, the heart of God's creation. And indeed, so beautiful. And so we ask the question, where is evil coming from? If everything that is, is good, where is evil coming from and the gospel of today very clearly the gospel of today very clearly tells us where is evil coming from from the heart hindi lahat ng puso hindi lahat ng may puso mababait. You know, I celebrated a mass, a kind of an anticipation of Valentine's Day in a group of friends and na-realize ko na hindi lahat sila nagsuot ng pula. I realized that may mga tatlo nang suot ay itim. And then jokingly, what's wrong? And one of them told me, Father, hindi lahat ng puso kulay pula. May mga puso na kulay itim din. Bitter. Pag nagalit, wagas. Galing sa puso. Pag nagmura, napakalutong. Galing sa puso. Pag nainis, walang makakapaghilom sa kanya. Galing sa puso. And so in today's gospel, very clearly Jesus says, hindi ang mga bagay na galing sa labas ang evil. What makes things evil is that that which comes from the heart. At yung heart na yun, hindi lahat ng may puso ay mabait at magaling. Sapagkat ginamit ng tao, ang puso ng tao na supposed to be a sanctuary of God, As a passageway, doon niya ginawa yung evil. At sabi ng Diyos, sabi ni Jesus in the Gospel of today, from within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, arrogance, blasphemy, fully. When we are confronted with evil and we realize that this evil na hindi kayang gawin ng tao at sinasabi, na, sinasabi natin, nasaan yung puso mo? We also realize that that which is supposed to be the sanctuary of God, that inner goodness was opened by the, by the same human person for evil to thrive. That is why I think Jesus is saying to us, like the song, please be careful with your heart. Sapagkat pwedeng pasukin yan ng evil. How do we take good care of our hearts? By our perceptions, by our biases, by how we receive things outside of us. How do we receive things outside of us? Pag may nagsabi sa'yo, ang pangit-pangit mo, how do you receive those negativities? As, are they evil themselves? No. But when that negativity is reinforced by your bias, dahil galit ka sa taong nagsabi sa iyong noon, that bias in your mind 
penetrates the bitterness, the negativity in your heart. At pag kinimkim mo yung negativity na yon, ang puso mo ang maging luklukan ng negativity. And before you know it, you are so helpless by your reaction na even yourself, you don't realize na pag nagalit ka, hindi mo na makontrol. Pag nag ka, hindi mo na makontrol. With your passion, planted with the negativity in your heart, you are not yourself anymore. And this is what breaks the heart of God. And this is evil at the core. And this is sin against the Holy Spirit. Be careful with that heart. Take good care of that heart. Never underestimate yung mga iniisip mong hindi maganda. Never underestimate the power of evil penetrating your heart. The small thought of lust, a small thought of envy, a small thought of corruption, a small thought of arrogance. Once you allow these thoughts to penetrate your mind and become part of your system and dig it deeper, plant it in your heart before you know it, you are already a slave of your passion and the negativities. But let this heart be cleansed by the grace of God in today's reading. Allow God once again to recreate us Bring us to the original intention of the heart. Make this heart really as a container, a sanctuary, where we meet God face to face. So that whatever negativities that come into your mind and experience, you can transform them by your power of openness to God and make them, turn them into a positive experience. And I think this is at the heart of the devotion to Our Lady of Perpetual Health. Titignan mo yung puso ni Maria in the image of the Our Lady of Perpetual Health. Sa puso ni Maria, hawak-hawak niya yung kamay ng Diyos. Yung kamay ni Jesus. Look at the image. And that is what we are encouraged. Sapagkat kung may mga negativities man na papasok sa utak mo, you can turn this negativity into something, an experience of grace and joy. Because it is that holding on to the hand of God na magkakuroon ka talaga ng heart and turn anything that is negative into a powerful force of life transforming. So that kahit sasabihin ng mga taong nasa paligid mo, ang pangit-pangit mo, Pwede ka pa rin gumiti sapagkat alam mo sa iyong puso, may hawak kang Diyos. You know, last week, I had the chance to celebrate the wedding of a very close cousin sa Baguio. And I was so happy noong cousin ko yun ay naglalakad papalapit sa altar, papalapit sa akin. Because I knew kung saan siya nang galing kung gaano kadaming negativities ang pumasok sa buhay niya from the outside. I remember, batang-bata pa kami, dumating po siya sa aming bahay. Kasama ng auntie ko, wala na po siyang tatay. Wala siyang tatay. Lumaking walang tatay. Kung sino-sino nag-alaga sa kanya. Pagkatapos po, yung nanay niya sa gusto niya mapag-aral yung kanyang anak, yung cousin ko, umalis pupuntang OFW at kung sino-sino ang nag-alaga sa kanya. She all had the reason to mess up her life. But she graduated, finished college, did it so well that she was employed in a foreign company outside of the, of course, outside of the Philippines. And now, she stood for the beauty of married life in spite of not having seen herself a mom and a dad getting married in the church. And I said to myself, pwede pala yon. 
na sa kabila ng ang dami-daming mga negativities galing sa labas, pwede mo palang maprocess sa utak mo at dalhin sa puso mo and can turn tragedies into blessing and can stand before God that kahit, hindi, kahit lumaki ako na wala akong nakitang tatay, na hindi ko man lang narinig yung kwento na yung nanay at tatay ko ay kinasal sa simbahan, I can still make something beautiful out of the negativities that life and the world has offered me. This is evil frustrated in the life of a cousin who cooperated to God. This is how we spread positivity. This is how the Blessed Mother ran to Jesus. And hopefully, this is what we do in the devotion to our Lady of Perpetual Succor. Takbo tayo sa Diyos. Takbuhan natin si Maria. And so, we frustrate even. And our hearts start beating for God. And God's heart start to be repaired and pray like St. Arnold. Lord, may the heart of Jesus live in my heart. Amen.